Dr. Bo Beard, and today we're going to be talking about diaphragmatic breathing progressions. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get something to support your feet. We're going to get in a position of ankles dorsiflex, which means toes to the ceiling or toes towards the shin at 90 degrees. The shins or the lower leg is going to be parallel to the ground, making 90 degree angle with the thigh. And the hips are going to make a 90 degree angle with your upper body or perpendicular to the ground, so we have 90, 90, 90. So that's the start position down there. The next cue, we want your lumbar spine in contact with the ground. So that's a posterior pelvic tilt. And some people are going to have that space where they can fit their hand under there. So really work to flatten that out. Another key, keeping the chin in a neutral position. It feels like you're giving yourself a double chin, but we want that to be nice and relaxed. So once you get in that position, try to calm that down or don't be forcing it. Arms go down to your side, just gently, gently resting. Another big key, Knees need to be as wide as the hips, so we don't want them narrow. So make sure you keep them wide in here and just gently support it right here, no downward pressure. So now our breathing progression is thinking about pushing air as far down into our groin as we possibly can. No movement with the chest. So you should feel that abdomen rise and fall. A good audit or a good check is one hand on the chest, one on the abdomen. No movement here. And get this hand to move alone. Another good check to make sure you're getting full expansion around your whole rib cage. Let's go on the lower part of your back, right under your last rib. Take a deep breath. If you can feel expansion in the lower part of your back, you're getting very good diaphragmatic activation. What we want to strive for here is moving away from the rest under the feet. So a good active breathing exercise would be once you can control this lumbar extension if you can keep this flat while lifting the legs up this becomes the exercise position and you have to constantly be auditing that you're not going into cervical extension lumbar extension that the legs and thighs are in a good position